Hi there. This week, the present Mrs. Camsell and I have been a wassailing. Oh, yes. Despite living in the countryside for quite some time, I had heard of a wassail, but I had never been to one before now. Our middle daughter, Hattie, for some reason, which I still can't quite understand, has become a Morris dancer. Because Hattie was doing Morris dancing, she invited us along. I mean, who wouldn't want to see their kids Morris dancing? We discovered that the Reverend Peter Owen Jones was uh, presiding over this wassail. Now, if you don't know who the Reverend Peter Owen Jones is, you should uh, have a look on Google. I'll, I'll pop a link to his Wikipedia page below. He is like just one of the coolest people in the universe. He is a reverend with the Anglican Church. Uh, he's done some TV programs as well, but when you see him, it is not your average idea of perhaps what an Anglican <laughs> vicar or Anglican clergy should look like. So he uh, presided over this uh, wassail and I caught a little bit of, of a quick interview with him. He explained a bit about uh, wassailing and the, and the history behind it. Uh, so that was very kind of him at the end. So if you are wondering what a, a wassail is, as I was two days ago, um, this is what it is. So it's an orchard thing. You, uh, everyone goes in. They put some royalty up an apple tree, the oldest apple tree, the ancient apple tree or something. And then the priest kind of does a blessing thing. They soak some toast in cider, put that on the tree. And the cider is the wassail. Last year's cider is made of the apples from the orchard. And then the, that shoots the evil spirits out of the orchard. And then you make as much noise as possible to scare the evil spirits away. And that is a wassail. <laughs> to be seen. And now, so be gone, you hag of scab. <laughs> be gone, the sulking canker, the rancor of the coddling moth, the froth of woolly aphid. Powdery mildews spit and bitter pit the sorrow of blossom wilt. And now, we tilt our roar to make the saw away. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's bang those jobs! <laughs>
Pray God, send us a good howling crop. Every twig, apples big. Every brow, apples on you. Our voice farm the thanks of this wonderful orchard. And now please come and take a piece of bread and spread it all over the tree amidst the king and queen. <laughs> if there is such a thing as a fusion between a priest and a shaman, then um, then that's that's my role. That's your role. Okay, yes. so you're just a facilitator, then. Yeah. I. That's 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 the best you could say about yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, how, how did you sort of start doing this? Um, I have I have absolutely no idea how I started doing this. Um, I just got a phone call and they said, um, "Would I like to come and hold this?" And I foolishly said yes. And that was uh, several years ago. And they've um, very foolishly invited me back ever since then. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, just one last question. Yeah, so I've lived around this area all my life, so I've mm. sort of seen these things going on. Is this a uh, Kent Sussex thing, or has this happened all over the no, UK? No, no, no. This is all over the UK. It oh, was right. um, originally Wassailing was originally brought in by the Vikings, okay, uh, and then taken on by, um, adopted by the population that was living here. It was kind of dying towards the end of the 19th century, um, early 20th century, and it had pretty much gone by after the Second World War. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you can see, it is now on its way back. I've got some other vlog stuff in the pipeline, but finding the time to edit this stuff together is a real problem for me, uh, particularly at the moment, We're very, very busy at work. Uh, but for those of you who've uh, stuck with us and for the new subscribers, thank you very much for your support of this channel. Um, I always joked about getting up to a thousand subscribers and I know I'm miles away from it, but um, it actually seems that, you know, if I put out enough shit on YouTube. <laughs> it might happen one day. Who knows? I may get my 37 pounds yet. But anyway, thank you for subscribing to this channel. Uh, you'd like to say your support is very much appreciated. Uh, I will catch you next time when I'm sure I will be involved in some other bizarre cult festival in the countryside. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye for now.